All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, basic JavaScript, replace loops using recursion. So recursion is the concept that a function can be expressed in terms of itself. To help understand this, we're going to start by thinking about the following task. Multiply the first n elements of an array to create the product of those elements. Using a for loop, we could do this. We'd have function multiply. We have the array and n right here. We'll let product equal one. And then for, we're gonna, and then for the for loop, we're going to let i equal zero. While i is less than n, we're going to do i plus plus. And then we're just going to say the product, this product here, times equals the array at whatever i is at the moment. So array at zero, array at one, at two, all the way up to n like that. And then we'll return the product. But however, notice that multiply with the array and n as the arguments also equals multiply the array with uh, n minus one as the argument times the array with <coughs> pardon me, the array at n minus one. So basically, uh, that means we can rewrite multiply in terms of itself and never need to use loops. So function multiply r with uh, n as the arguments. If n is less than or equal to zero, we're going to return one or else we'll return multiply r at n minus one times r, pardon me, r and then we're going to make this in minus one times r at in minus one. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, the recursive version of multiply breaks down like this. In the base case where n is less than or equal to zero, it returns one. For larger values of n, it calls itself, but with n minus one. So if it's five, it'll do four, and then it'll keep going three, two, one. Uh, that function call is evaluated in the same way, calling multiply again until n is less than or equal to zero. At this point, all the functions can return and the original multiply returns the answer. So note, recursive functions must have a base case when they return without calling the function again. In this example, when n is less than or equal to zero, otherwise they can never finish executing. So now we're gonna write a recursive function, sum uh, with the array and n as the arguments uh, that returns the sum of the first n elements of an array r. So basically what we're going to do is just like this, except for we're going to do addition. So we're going to come over here and start with the base case. We'll say if, and then we'll say n, if n is less than or equal to, whoops, less than or equal to zero, what we're going to do here is return, and since it's sum, we don't do one, we return zero, not O, we return zero, or it will uh, add one to the end of what we're doing. And then we're going to say else right here, and then we'll do uh, another set of curly braces and say return multiply, excuse me, sum of, with the uh, arguments R, and then we're calling, right here, we're calling it on itself. So it'll just do it over and over and over again. And this time it's we're going to do in minus one. And then we'll say times r at n minus one. All right. And r at n minus one, if you remember, uh, whatever n is, like it's always going to be the uh, because what is it? Because arrays are zero base, the indexing is zero base, whatever that whatever n is, it's actually going to be n minus one to account for the zero. Hopefully that makes sense. So this should work. Let's come down here and make an array or actually just make a function call for this. Let's say console.log and we'll say sum. And then we'll make the array. We'll make an array like this. We'll say one, comma two, comma three, comma four, comma five. And then we'll have the n equal four. How about that? That way it goes between that. Hmm. What's wrong here? Oh, times. No, it's got to be plus. All right. I was copying this verbatim. Anyway, so first it's going to do uh, R n minus one. N is four. So zero, one, two, three, four minus one. It's going to do four. So it's going to, this is going to be four right here. And then it comes back through and does it again for three, for two, 
for one, and then it finally gets to the base case to where it adds zero to it, and then we get 10, one plus two plus three plus four, just like that. Uh, let's come down here and run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right, now we're on to profile lookup, and we'll see you next time.